pit they fall. The gangs are here. My gangs are here. To carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. That's about twice a day. <laughs> this is serious. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. No chance. They're destabilizing their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> you good up there? Uh. <laughs> ah. Oh, man, you're not good. You're not good. You look good. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. Threat neutralization initiated. Ah! Ah. Uh. Excuse me. Off. Yeah. Nope. Deploying combat drone. Okay. They've got heat. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's move out. Come on. Let's move out. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you! <laughs> we're slapping now. One more. One more. Ha. Ha. How you like that? Go get him, Mika. Go get him. How you like that? By all God. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. <laughs> Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my. <laughs> but, great wind, biotic god, I'm. 
Hey. What was I saying? You're high. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! We should have stopped him, Shepard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tally. Tally, baby, I'm sorry. I just can't. You know, I gotta go renegade. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I kill you. I'm sorry. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Not today. <laughs> Be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or yep. look around first? Yeah. Let's give her the name and keep moving. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. About her manner is just so cold. You're prettier, baby. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Let's have a dinner. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Let's get it. Ho <laughs> let's get it. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Goodness, I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. I thought she was coming on to me at first. But maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Yeah, we had fun. Hey. Shepard. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little. This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. 
In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> you know what? I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. Let's move on. You ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. Come on. Remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to shape. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> this is my team right here. If you ask, can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Should I pour you a quad? Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. <laughs> Your funeral, pal. Man, I can end this, man. I got this. I got this. Come on. Give it to me. Huh? Maybe I can't. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Costing hundreds. I've had of enough of your disingenuous assertions. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Doesn't it look delicious? Not really. <laughs> Here, go back to your fleet, Clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. Stop it, Poop. Shut up, Willis. My first instinct was to help you, but I don't like your attitude. I don't like the company you keep. Hey, both of you, calm down. Cortan, I know you're upset, but that's no excuse to insult everyone around you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... If you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Finished our meeting. You win to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Relax. The council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Ash. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. 
I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. <laughs> Tally, yeah. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Nice playing, Commander. Did Shepard's teasing throw off your game? You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me at my own game. You're alright, Shepard. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Back again. Ilium sees many human refugees. Openness orphans and former man, Conrad Werner, wants to help. Werner is organizing Shepherds, a charity that helps human refugees, orphans, and former war prisoners. In a prepared statement, he said that this new charity is his way of showing his support for the people who protect the galaxy. Just kidding. Talk to Tan. Wait. I see. Oh, okay. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. That's disgusting. You're making money off people's fear. Yes, I am. By the shipload. Whereas your stock just fell like it was in a high gravity environment. Damn it. Okay. I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. Um, if you say so. If you say so. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest people. Are the heavens still bright as our hey. blue? Shepherd. It's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. So, you're the one responsible for me ending up with Cerberus? <laughs> Why? Cerberus knew you and I. They said they could bring you back. They gave me a sliver of hope. Was I supposed to just leave you dead? They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. If he's been the Shadow Broker's prisoner for two years, he may not be in good shape. I know, but 
Yesterday, all I wanted was the chance to avenge his death. Today, he's alive. I'll do whatever I have to do to get him back. <laughs> Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Man, baby. She's so fine. She's so fine, man. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an Omnigel programming solution that works. Whether constructing single-use equipment or breaking down salvaged gear, this right. technology will be there for you. There are some problems Omnigel can't solve. For everything else, there's Scission technology. Scission the Belkoff Combine. Listen, I... Oh. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. You'll want to see this. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? Oh, I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. You know who I am. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Commander Shepard. And I'm Let's go. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. Thanks. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. What about me? What about me? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Okay. Oh, I did that. <laughs> oh, no, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. I embrace eternity in part one. A whole so, lot. <laughs> talk to the non Asari customers. A whole like lot. Pure. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, 
They're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It. It. Let's go. Let's just go. Why not? Why not? We go. We did all this. We did all that already. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. <sighs> what about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. <laughs> Pitney Four. The gangs are here. My gangs are here. Um, hey. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. <laughs> Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. I should go. Okay. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. Hmm. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Okay. Every Asari does, I guess. You guess. Don't guess, baby. There's no guessing out here. Nice guns. <laughs> Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. How convenient for us. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. 
You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. That's about twice a day. <laughs> this is serious. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Okay. Ah, let's go. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Today. You are right, Tally baby. Tally baby. Oh, that sounds good. Tally baby. Turn left. This ain't left, this is right. This is my right. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Wait for resets. Okay. Get the rest of Bravo Squad prepped. Alpha Squad went after that just a car 20 minutes ago, and they got started. My over matter. <laughs> <laughs> you good up there? Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, man, you're not good. You're not good. You look good. You don't look too good. Save it. Okay. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! Baby. Baby. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! 
Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? You kill in cold blood. That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? <laughs> Not really. I can't say that I am. That is something we share. You are honest. That is another. How may I be of service to you? I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. What just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. <laughs> Let's make a deal. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. Today. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari's space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Okay. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Pitney Fall, I'm coming for you. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, how you got here? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear, please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very... Um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. 
The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. <laughs> You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. I need to break into the Eclipse base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Okay. Okay, good to know. You should be able to get into the Merc base now. It's the elevator back that way, to your right. To my left? That's my left, right? Okay, maybe this way is to my right. Okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I ain't seen that. Don't mind me. Eyes up front. Threat neutralization initiated. Ah! 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 Excuse me. Ah. Ah. Okay. One down. Weakening their intake. <laughs> One down. On it. This should Understood. soften them up. I'll take them. You're toast. I'll take them. They will die. Yep. That was close. Hostile forces have engaged. <laughs> Collision proximity warning. Ah. Right. Whoa. Wow. They're right. It could kill me. I can't even hide right there. I'll tear you apart. Okay. This should soften them up. Can do. I'll tear you apart. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Get up. Ah. Body is dust. Yeah. Uh huh. Got the target. That's it. Yeah. We done. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. nice. What we got here? What we got here? That's it. Don't use that. Okay. What's this? No, I don't want that for Tally. I don't want that. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, let's go. Oh God, yes. Oh God, yes. don't let them see me. If they do see me, don't let them kill me. What am I doing here? <laughs> That's it? Okay. Call that hiding? I can see you. <laughs> Let's move out. Come on. Let's move out. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Huh? It's not you. Now what's this? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm right, going up. Let's save it. Understood. On my way. Just stay right there. Hostiles detected. They're all yours to take up. Very well. Get to cover. 
<laughs> no chance. Try something right here. Wait. Here. You're toast. I'll tear you apart. This should stop the move. It will be done. You're toast. Oops. No. Weakening their integrity. <laughs> I got the target. Right. They're all mine. Tear you apart. They've got him. Engaging hostile. Can do. That one hit. Can you guys shoot somebody? Weakening their integrity. Can do. <laughs> Deploying warp. Shoot him. I'll tear you apart. <laughs> Target acquired. Incoming. Oh, oh. Dust. I'll take them. Target marked. Got it. Target marked. Yeah. As I must. As I must. Uh. That's it. Good job. I can't die, man. Bang. Bang. That's it. No. On my way. Moving to position. Yep. <coughs> Go get them. Good turn. Good girl. Mind over matter. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
can do. Heavy weapon! <laughs> Yeah. I'll tear you apart. I got they every weapon. No chance. They will die. No chance. One fall. Whoa. Okay. Tally. You stabilize their bodies. Tally. That's it. I can't see. <laughs> They're all mine. They will die. Weakening their integrity. On it. One falls. Ha. <laughs> Weakening their integrity. That is failure. I can't see. Oh. That's it. Threat neutralization initiated. At your side. On it. <coughs> Go get them, Chatika. Good girl. Yep. Got it. Game pass again. Go down to the side. <laughs> yeah. No chance. No chance. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me all that credit. Give me all that credit. Oh. Check your screens. I can't wish it. Ah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Watch for heavy weapons. Yep. Heavy weapon. As I must. Right. As I must. Moving to cover. It will be done. Man, yeah, Tally amazing, man. 
telly amazing. They've seen us. This should soften them up. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. That was easy. What we got up here? Any credit? Let's go. Okay. We got it. I'll take it. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> Real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. You were right to be suspicious of her. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Yep. Yeah, I was right. I'm always right. What you're talking about? I'm always right. I'm always right. I can't go in there. Always right. Always. Okay. So far, so good. We've been spotted. Got it. Very well. Baby, where are you going? As I must. On the move.
Gonna be tough. Destabilizing your bodies. Got the target. Close. Oh, close. Oh my god, no. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! I ain't do no damage. Your body is dust. Can't do no damage here. Okay. I got him. Oh, 
dust. Ah. Almost, almost, almost. We got this, we got this. We got this. One more. One more. Ha. Ha. How you like that? That's it. Yes. Ha. <laughs> Epic. Epic. No chance. Any credit? No. No. Can't kill me, man. Okay. like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I imagine Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. Okay. This is on credit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ha! My guy right here. By all the God. I am a biotic God. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures. For I am biotics made of flesh. Calm down. You need help. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. 
spell. I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, he can barely talk, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my... <laughs> but... Great Wind... Biotic God... I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... Tired. You... May be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Nicely done, Shepard. <laughs> alright, alright. We're not gonna go with that, man. I've been winning it, baby. We don't want that. <laughs> that was fun, though. Renegade, baby. <laughs> All right. Hey. You are high. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes, the Asari... They may laugh when I fall. Good luck with... everything. Wait, EarthClan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, he can barely talk, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. We're right behind you. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! We should have stopped him, Shepard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tally. Tally, baby, I'm sorry. I just can't. You know, I gotta go renegade. You know what I'm saying? You understand me, right, baby? We're clear for the moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I kill you. I'm sorry. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! No, don't do that. Don't do that. Not today. Enemy. <laughs> Today. They're all mine. Got it. As I must. Oh, ah! No, Tally, don't die.
Don't I tell you? Not yet. Not yet. She blacked away. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> They've got heat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Easy. That was easy. That was easy, man. That's it. Let me look around. Any more credits? Any more credits? No? No? Ah, uh, I guess not. Ah, uh, let's go. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or yep. look around first? Yeah. Let's give her the name and keep moving. Hey. 
Hey, let me make some credit. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. A pleasure doing business. Oh. Pleasure trading with you earlier. I'm getting clearance and I'll be gone soon. But not soon enough. 9,000 credit. Can't complain. Can't complain. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. That's what I do. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. <laughs> You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths. The third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. Okay. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You do anything I say, baby? Anything? Now you have to do whatever I tell you? I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I did a job for you. This evidence names the murderer. Turns out basic police work isn't so hard. You just have to leave the station. I'll keep that tip in mind. Now, what have you got there? Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. You're not big on the charm, but you get the job done, and I'm old enough to appreciate that. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. That's it, right? Yes. Oh, I missed some credit. How? I looked around. Never mind. So good, man. So good. So good out here. So good, man. That was a fun mission. That was fun. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. 
We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Oh, Jacob like her. I know. I know. I know you do, Jacob. You want some, huh? Yes. 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 Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What's this? Dummy protection. Okay. Weapon. Same thing, huh? Ah, okay. What we got here? That's it. Oh, I got four. Stasis. Yeah. Hey. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. You're pretty, our baby. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Let's have a dinner. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Let's get it. Oh, <laughs> let's get it. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Goodness, I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> Anything for you, baby. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Thank you, baby. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to... Joker. Hey. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> Why you? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. And Fane seems like the strong, sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around, a real cuddler. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> okay. I got something going on with that one. I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay. Let's go talk to, uh, what's his name? Grunt. Then talk to Zahid. See if we can talk to Tali. That was 
was fun. Okay. Got my right head. Hey. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the Genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. A Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld, Tuchanka. Okay. I'll keep this on file, but I doubt we can divert to the Krogan homeworld anytime soon. Understood. I'll, I'll keep busy, but I feel dangerous. I got you. Catch. Let's go talk to Zahid. Hey. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. I knew this girl once, Asari, good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I can't. Fact. I cannot. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Just two? Come on. Talk more, man. Charlie, you got something to say? Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. Okay, I don't understand what you're talking about. I never understand what they're talking about. I've never. I don't. I don't. They be speaking language I don't understand. That's not English, man. That's something. <laughs> that's something else, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, come on. Like to talk to him. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. You know, when I went looking for an assassin, I expected to get a badass. You seem more like a monk. <laughs> In my experience, those who are truly dangerous don't act like they are. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Six? You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was 12. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? 
Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the seabed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. Oh, it's there. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Wow. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. What was that? Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Okay. Okay. Hey. I was just thinking about you. Oh, yeah? So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. I thought she was coming on to me at first, but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Yeah, we have fun. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Hey. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. You know. You girls, man. Yeah, yeah, love shaka shaka. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, love shaka shaka. Yeah, love it. Hey. Shepard. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Show me what it would take. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. Hey. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. 
It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. The mission. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Good question. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. <laughs> I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. <laughs> Stop lying. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Okay. I don't think Gallus want to talk. Mechly. No. You ain't got nothing to say. Okay, not nah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back in. Ah, we done. Now let's go do some shopping. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's go do some shopping. Let's go. Help. Yeah, right. Nah, I ain't got time for that. Now, nah, right now. Let's go to Citadel. Let's go do some shopping. Tally and Garrus. Why not? Let's do some shopping. Some side quests. Let's see what we got. Yeah. 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 Power duration, baby. Garrus. Tally. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. 
Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. <laughs> I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Okay. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. <laughs> hey. Be nice, mate. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Can you fix it? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Do it. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. <laughs> they didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Admiral Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs. Organized crime and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. <laughs> Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. <laughs> okay, uh... I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Good job. That's it. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Gotcha. Catch. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Ah, we're not gonna go with that, though. We're not gonna go with that, but that was nice. 
That was nice. From aspect. Okay. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. <laughs> Shepard, why you gotta be like that? Hey, got to do some shopping, baby. You need to do it. You're not the deal, man. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> you know what? I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. Let's move on. Let's move on. Man, I love Krogans, man. They're funny. Do you ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. Come on. Remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to shape. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> this is my team right here. Uh -huh. Any more conversation? Any more? But that's all you got. That's it. Ah, come on, guys. Any more? Oh, we got it. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a Pharaoh Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits, Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Nope. Just shoot. Just shoot, man. But we're not gonna go with that, man. Y'all know the rules, man. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Hey, renegade, renegade, renegade. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, what can I do for you? I do a little hunting myself, you know. That right. What sort of prey can a squishy human take down? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum. What? Where? The Terminus. I'm heading out again soon and I'm looking for sponsors. Huh. I respect anyone who hunts game like that. Sure. I'll give you a discount. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Bring me back a Geth's head, would you? I'd like to turn one into a desk lamp. Oh, I got you. 
I got you. What this? I don't need that. What this? I don't need that. So weak. I ain't wasting money, man. I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. Let's go in here and ask about the fish. Hey. Something I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Deleasonis's gift shop. Gift shop? Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. <laughs> Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Okay. What'll it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. Oh, I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Martin. Let's have another one. <laughs> there you are. And another one. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? I ain't done yet. Hit me again. <laughs> how about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Vitarian ale. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Oh. Anything else? Ball. Do it. <laughs> okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincal. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. Man, I can end this, man. I got this. I got this. Come on. Give it to me. Huh? Maybe I can't. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's dance. Yeah. Hey. Ah, ah, that's enough. Okay. Ah, we're done here. Let's go. 
that was fun. Whoa, here we go. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You make me loop it. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. We stood as one to save many. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check vid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Oh. <laughs> We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done here. You know what's coming right now, right? You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Hey. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. You presented your case. Do you have a minute? Yes, I remember. You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. Tally, it's move fair aside. to say the course of the battle Garrus. hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds I've of had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check vid. Did we get it? Nice. <laughs> you okay, baby? Your eyes. It's not looking good. Your eyes is not looking good, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, right, let's load it. I, I don't want that. I don't want that. Ah, right, let's let's do the right way now. The right way. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. I you presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Don't disrespect the dead. Saving everyone only happens in vids. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. 
All of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Okay. That's it for that. That's it for that. Ah, uh, where else we go? Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Um, okay. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Okay. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. GameStop don't have that. Why not? <laughs> Uh, talk to me. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? No. I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days, it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. Oh. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. The worst thing about Extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto translation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. Okay. You know anyone who plays that Extranet game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. <laughs> if games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. <laughs> Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance. And to Krogan. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. Okay. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That is the first time I'm listening to all that, all that talk. Hey, I got sound for you. Hey. What do you want? I overheard you talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Weren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. It's just a damn fish. Guns are better than fish. Aye, aye. Doesn't it look delicious? Not really. <laughs> I want to go home and eat it. I thought you were going to stand here admiring it all damn day. <laughs> I can't believe it. An actual fish from the Presidium. Thrilling. <laughs> Doesn't it look delicious? Not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that was fun. That was fun. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. 
This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Okay. Okay. Ma? Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice chorality. What cooking school did you say you went to? <laughs> I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? It's on level 23. Ask for their tummy tingling to chunk of sauce. <laughs> what? What else you got? Come on, please. You have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. <sighs> Fine. A sorry honey marinade. Made in an Ardat Yakshi monastery by sad, tortured blue souls. Too sweet for a real connoisseur. But anyone willing to date you will probably be impressed. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Toys, man. God, they got jokes. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Hey, you're not lying, though. It is. It is. There's no lie in that, man. What we got here? Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Okay. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Esquerin sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering, and like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. Okay. I offer a no money down lease on my quality used ships. Ah, I know. Perhaps one of our light haulers? I have several Kowloon modular conveyors available. Very moddable, those Kowloons. You know what makes a ship, Earth Clan? It's the engines. I don't mean to brag, but the Borkat Combine produces wonderful engines. Perhaps you'd like to examine a ship with such an engine? Okay. Now, I'm hardly one to judge, Earth Clan. But you appear quite virile. I believe you could use a shuttle with seating for many bulbous children. Okay. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent okay. ships for sale Crazy. here. Only slightly used, yes. Huh? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. We have six kinds of beer on tap. We don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not want to hear drunk Elcor sing. No, no, I don't. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Okay, that's it. Oh. Tally, this is why I bring you here. This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Okay. What can I get you? I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you. <laughs> you know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. 
Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. You claim you didn't take his credit, Chit? No! I was walking by, and he just turned on me and started screaming. <laughs> are you sure you're being straight with me? There's nothing you want to admit? What? Why are you accusing me? I didn't do anything. First, I ask you a question, you answer it. Second, I don't like your tone. <laughs> yeah. We have six kinds of beer on tap. Just six? I'm legally obligated to inform you that I'll be doing an Omni Tool scan. Fine, if it'll get him to leave me alone. Sorry, sir, but I only read one credit shit, and it's registered to her. She must have hacked it. You know her kind. They're all hackers. Sir, most interstellar crime syndicates can't hack UBS credit chits. <laughs> we don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not want to hear Del Toco sing. What's your current address? Um... Some nights I get a hat capsule in 633 block. Your permanent address? I'm on pilgrimage. I don't have one. <laughs> I've already warned you not to take that tone with me. I'll mark you down as a vagrant. I'm not homeless. I'm not only. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. Just walking by. That's it. I felt her hand go into my pocket. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. <laughs> you say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. <laughs> you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. I've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Your pilgrimage isn't going so well, is it? No, I... I came here thinking there'd be a lot of work. EVA stuff, salvage. Fixing all the damage the Geth attack caused. Everywhere I went to apply, sign said not hiring quarians. And the other people would give me mean looks. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Okay. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. She's not a vagrant. She's on pilgrimage. It's a tradition in which... Look, you can take your traditions and cram them. Every time a Quarian shows up here, it's trouble. <laughs> Tally, this is why I bring you. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. 
I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. Stop it, Poof. Shut up, Vuelas. My first instinct was to help you, but I don't like your attitude. I don't like the company you keep. Hey, both of you, calm down. Cortan, I know you're upset, but that's no excuse to insult everyone around you. <laughs> how does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how big you can't turn your back on these clanless... Uh, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Yo, that was the first time I heard that. Vitaly. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. <laughs> no, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What we got here? Nothing? Let's go. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Jail converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. <laughs> I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. <laughs> Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years! I'm not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail Converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Alright, that's it. Hey. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah. Oh my! You are Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Stop lying, Shepard. <laughs> How many store is your favorite on the Citadel? You be lying. Shepard be lying too much. You can't trust him. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Come on. We're going with Renegade. 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 Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think I... Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. 
Please, browse our catalog. Yep. Ah, I need it. Thank you. This should come in handy. What's this? I don't need that. I don't need that. What we got here? Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth, you've got it. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Okay. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Damage protection. That's what I'm talking about. I got a lot of money. We can use this. I got a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? I forgot about you. I remember you. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. I remember you, man. I remember. I just. He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades do you want to get for him? I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people on the street what they think. I'm getting the immuno booster and a drink. Hey. I bet. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Okay. I think that's it. That's it. You know what? Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close his event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? <laughs> you think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. 
The Citadel has never been tolerant of Quarians on pilgrimage. The Geth attack two years ago must have made it worse. Good luck, Leah Bael. Thanks. Haha, <laughs> Leah, Leah what? I love it. I love it. Aye. Right. Let's go talk to... Oh. Why? There we go to Omega. Got some stuff to do there. Jacob coming with me. And Miranda, I think. Hey. I this ask. meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available. But as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Good to see you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. This council turned its back on me. You were reported dead, Commander. Then we heard you were working for Cerberus. Frankly, we were unsure which news was worse. We shouldn't be fighting. If we're going to stop the Reapers, we have to work together. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. <laughs> Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. <laughs> Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. The elusive man warned me. He said you're all too stupid and scared to see the truth. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councillor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Okay, I'll take it. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. Yep. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. I don't need their help. I just need you to keep them off my back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. 
You went to the council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Relax. The council reinstated my specter status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. <laughs> I've got more important things to do than listen to you scold Anderson. <laughs> Fine. I shouldn't be seen talking with you anyway. Not after what you did. Anderson, this isn't over. When you and Shepard are done, I want to see you in my office. What an ass. <laughs> Will Adina find a way to get rid of you over this? I should be so lucky. But once he cools off, he'll probably decide to keep me around. Besides, the Council won't have any official records of our meeting. And they won't want to go public with the results. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. Ash. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this, or even that they exist. Okay, uh, I think that's it. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Okay. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after Still the counting. The keepers... We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? You should come with me. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Okay. I got you. I got you. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go to Omega. Let's go to Omega. 
expose your, your safe games to Mass Effect 3 if you survive. That's the plan. That's the plan. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, yeah. I need some credit, man. What we got here? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm tough now. I'm tough. Damage protection, right? Okay. Okay. Ah, right, let's go to Omega. I still have some money. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Let's go to Omega. We got so much to do. Got a whole lot. Let's go to Omega. Do what we gotta do here. Yeah, hand it. Come on, let's go. We ain't got time for all that, eh? Yeah. Who coming with me? Tally and Jacob. Yep. 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 For now. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Okay, Jacob, this way, baby. Jacob, over here. You told me about Jacob, didn't you? Jacob Taylor? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I'm sure you didn't. No, please. So many years have passed since Tortuga. Lots of water under the bridge. I take it you've met each other before. Oh, yes. We worked an important job a few years ago. A few very long years ago. You sent me into a nest of Turian thugs in a Batarian ambush. Hey, now. My job was to get you inside. Anything more would have cost you extra. Come on, you're stop talking. God. I heard you talking about us. What do you want? Please, please. We're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course. But it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that with your help, we can change Omega. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. Okay, I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good to see you alive, Jacob. 
Stop talking. Kent. End is not. Imagine this. You're in the Nexus. It's late. And the only one around is that screeching prophet and a few Vorja scratching for food. Suddenly, a shot. Red hot lifeblood must have seen something you like. They will not shut up. They will not shut up. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? I mean, it's not like they're hidden. They're right here in their own filth. What a shithole. Stop talking. Goodness. Is he always like this? Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Hera, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Right. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I got you. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. He shops up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Okay. I'm gonna try something out over here. Can I can I shut this people off? Only four months left until the entertainment event of the century. Becky Burlesque. Join the Kanjatash and his sexy sextet as they light up the afterlife and soon give me a beast of Omega. You won't believe. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. <laughs> what if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Alright, let's go talk to him, huh? You won't believe your eyes. Two years after a geth attack nearly destroyed it, the call has announced plans for an expansion. They're still talking, man. Hey. I heard you spoke to Harry. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Take care of yourself. You too. What? That's it? What do you need? How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. 
Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Okay, that's... That's too much power again. I don't need that. I need Renegade. I need Renegade. That's a whole lot of power again. Ah. Okay, we don't want that. I don't want that. The Shepherd Memorial on Akuz is expected to open next year once the area is declared safe for visitors. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get? Tell me about your deal with the quarry. Suspicious. If I accusatory, I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Okay. I don't need that. I need that. Ah, too much. I don't need that. I think that's it. Seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Ragnar ship profiles. The few ships that ah, have been small ha. vessels that rapidly retreated. The council has pledged a full oh. investigation. Oh, okay. Oh. This might be useful. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go back. Let's go. Okay, well, let's go see. Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And the people don't work together toward a common goal. There's no sense of family here. Just fear. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to Arya. Then let's see what she got to say. Don't look at me like that. Hey. Nothing to see here. Okay. Hey. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Just like that, baby. Just like that. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Okay. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. I do, baby. I do. But Tali play. She playing games right now. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. Tali play. Tally playing games right now, man. She don't want to talk to me right now. She don't want to talk to me right now. You know? Okay. 
Okay, you're done. We got two more stuff to do. Two more stuff, then we hand it. Two more stuff to do. for you commander okay hey. okay oh I don't have enough What do I need? I need 2,495. Okay. All right. No messages for you, Commander. Let's go here. Almost. Almost. We almost finish. Uh. Right here. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here. Try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. That's what I do. That's what I do, man. Okay. One more step. Last one. Last one right here. After this, we're done. Hey. Okay. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. <laughs> Tally, yeah. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice playing, Commander. Did Shepard's teasing throw off your game? You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Haha <laughs> Tell it that's why I bring you here, baby. Shepard, what can I do for you? More conversation which have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later. Okay. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay. I think that's it. That's all I got, but damn. 
Let's see. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's all I got right now. Hold up, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. No messages for you, Commander. Let's And there's some of this. Come on. Come on. Launching yeah. probe. Not enough. Come on, man. Probe away. Come on. Come on. Ah, I just go with that. Probe launched. Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need, baby, baby. Probe launched. Okay. Okay. Probe launched. Ah, wasting my time. It's wasting my time. Ah, now my that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, this is good. Let's see. Uh Tally using shotgun though. Bye bye. That's it. That's all I got. Bye. Now, I see you later. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. <laughs>